So we've got the policy conference, okay. Um, I just can't get away from the idea of policy being used as a proxy for leadership. In other words, we're going to call it the ANC policy conference, but it's December 1.0, right? Yeah, indeed. And I think we must look out for the songs. I mean, we know mm. that in any general council or gathering mm. of ANC uh, members ahead of the elective mm. conference, a lot of people will be singing songs. Mm. Um, and which will give you an idea on who supports who. Mm. And also what's interesting is in those commissions, what kind of policies certain people will be pushing mm. for. Land expropriation without compensation. I think that's going to give us a sense mm. of the support that Nkosa Zanadlamini has mm. and the support that Sir Ramaphosa has. I mean, what's so interesting is this phrase, radical economic transformation, which mm. I, I, I can't remember the ANC without it. Um, and then white monopoly capital, which is new. Thanks, Bill Pottinger. We appreciate it. Um, but in a way, I suppose what you're looking for, if, the, if someone comes out of the Economic Transformation Commission and says, look, we're going to do all of these things and we've never heard them before, they aren't in the policy documents, then you know which side's winning. And yeah. it's not Ramaphosa. Definitely. I mean, for example, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa hasn't spoken a lot about white monopoly mm. capital. I mean, he's even questioned why we're referring it to mm. white monopoly capital. And he was supported by um, the Gauteng mm. ANC. On Reddit, economic transformation as well. The president says it's the enemy to the national democratic revolution. Ramos Poza says, no, hold on. Actually, don't use certain terms mm. to try and dupe the public. So you're right. When we come out of those commissions and they tell us this is the position mm. we're taking on radical economic transformation or we believe white monopoly capital, mm. then you must know that someone is weighing more than mm. Cyril Ramaphosa. And then in the end, I suppose, I mean, for me, with my cynics hat on, and I've covered a lot of these things, is, I mean, I remember all the commission decisions at Polokwane, Mangaung, we'll have a national development plan. Really? Yeah, I still don't now? see it. <laughs> Where's that now? And then they started talking about the Freedom Charter a lot, mm. just ahead of the elections, mm. and the elections are done. You hear Deputy President speaking a little bit about um, the National mm. Development Plan, and it seems it's going to be center. Um, it's going mm. to be very centered if he does win and mm. he's the next president. But it will be interesting to see if they will embrace mm. the Freedom Charter, or they will embrace the NDP, or they will mm. come up with something mm. else, Stephen. All right, well, there's going to be a lot to watch. It starts on Friday.